Hello and welcome to a figure review of the Fortnite emote series Human Bill and Little Saucer. So, um, this is the first Fortnite thing I think I've ever done on my channel. Uh, I've, I, I play Fortnite on and off with some friends and uh, I came across this skin a while ago and I kind of fell in love with it. I, I love me some aliens, I, I like the sort of men in black aesthetic thing going on. Um, but, you know, as with a lot of skins in Fortnite, it costs quite a lot of money. And I was like, I don't really know if I want to drop that much money on a skin. As it turns out, for about the same price, I could get a figure of him. So I was like, whoa, I, I didn't even know they'd made an action figure. But when I did, I decided to order it. I don't know how old this is. I think this is a few years old now, or maybe it's brand new. I don't know. But regardless, we're going to open it up and take a look. So, as I mentioned, as part of the Emote series, I think there's other... Figures as well that come with physical emote kind of things, like, um, I, I don't know, things they ride on or whatever. Um, but we'll take a look at the packages. So there's uh, 28 points of articulation, always pretty good. He is 4 inches tall, um, yeah, which is about right. Comes this other stuff, which we'll take a look at in a minute. He is number 195, which is mind-blowing. I didn't know they made this many Fortnite figures already. But I guess that just shows how much out of the loop I am. Um, and the other side doesn't really have much. We've got the back with him doing a pose with his hands. I don't think he can do in in the figure form, actually. Um, which is weird. And then we've got like, a lineup of other skins. I don't know much about Fortnite like skins or whatever. I just like the cool alien dude. Anyway, I'm going to go and open this up now. And we'll take a look at the figure. So, BRB. All right, I'm back and I've opened him up. So let's take a look at what comes in the pack. So we'll take a look at the accessories first. So uh, first up, we have the harvesting tool, which uh, has like a UFO with the words believe on. Obviously a reference to the X-Files, I want to believe. Um, and yeah, I really like this. It's, it, it sort of, it looks like a sign. Um, I mean, it, it, it literally is. Um, you know, like you'd see around Area 51 stuff. I, I very much like this. Um, and then we have his emote um, uh, vehicle, I suppose, which is a UFO. So this does technically come in two parts. You can pop this thing off because it's just a little ball joint there. And the cool thing about it being a ball joint is that this kind of articulates... So if you want it at like an angle or something, because he can sit in this um, or any figure of his scale, I guess. So you can just have it like normal or, you know, tilted or whatever, which is a really nice little touch. It's sort of, it's just a simple extra bit of detail and stuff. The UFO itself as well is pretty cool. Uh, I do like all the like little panelling and the metal things and the like red detailing on the corner. Yeah, it's really nice. Um... I mean, you could probably fit a lot of figures. I mean, they'd have to be smaller scale, four inches or around. But, you know, you could you could set up other dioramas with, like, other alien-y kind of things. And, of course, there's the man himself, the human man, human Bill. Um, so, to be fair, he's got a ton of articulation. I'm very impressed. So, we'll take a quick look at him. I will be doing the, like, photo gallery thing in a minute, so we'll get a better look that way. Um, he's fairly standard in terms of design. Uh, you can see a little bit of his ankles poking through. But he's just wearing a sort of, a, you know, general black suit, as the men in black would. He's got a tie, technically the tie, uh, well, his jacket moves, sorry. It is sort of plastic, so you can see a little bit more. Um, but yeah, his articulation is incredible. So he's got shoulder, he's got um, elbow, his hands rotate, obviously. They've also got kind of articulation forward and back a little bit, I think. His head, obviously. Uh, his legs and knees. Also, his feet have articulation, which is very cool. Um, it is just forward and back, but, I mean, he, you know, he's a four-inch figure. You're not going to expect uh, an incredible amount. But, yeah, it's... Um, I am, I am have, uh, finding it a little... Oh, actually, no. You know what? Uh, so, I think he's got an ab crunch. There we are. Yeah, yeah, he's got an ab crunch as well, which means he can double over a little bit. Oh, the, the back is sort of raisable as well, and it's kind of slightly split, uh, so that he can sit down comfortably in there. Yeah, overall, he's he's a really cool figure. Um, I just saw him because he's an alien guy, and honestly, you don't see a lot of... Ooh, 
you don't see a lot of modern alien figures uh, anymore. Especially not the sort of standard alien, if you know what I mean. He's more of like a generic alien. You got, you know, xenomorphs and stuff, but yeah, he's pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna go mess about with him now. Um, so here's a photo montage and I've bought something that might mean you'll see a bit of video as well. So stay tuned. Here we go. Alright, so I've gone off and had some fun with my alien dude. Uh, as you can see in the background, actually, I've still got the rotating base thing. I decided to finally buy one, because, um, you know, it, it looks kind of cool. Uh, to be honest, it is actually better suited for larger things, so this, you know, looked a little bit tiny on it, but I think I made it work. Um, and yeah, honestly, he is a lot of fun. So, two really small criticisms uh, for the figure. So the first off is the way he holds the harvesting tool feels a little bit loose, like it pivots incredibly easily. And also, I can't remember if this was before I put it on or after, but it feels like I bent that finger there. Um, I mean, it holds it on well enough forever for, you know, different poses. Now, obviously, uh, as this is Fortnite, this is aimed at like a child or something though, I don't think you'd get a lot of use out of this before either a finger snaps or like a thumb or something because wedging it in does feel a little bit tight. Uh, as far as this hand goes, I don't think you can fit it in this hand at all unless you like really bend the plastic, but I don't want to risk snapping one of his three fingers, uh, which is the average human amount of fingers, obviously. Um, the other small criticism is that while this is a really cool UFO and everything, um, I mean, he sits in it, but not exactly. I feel like I've seen the emote in-game before, and the person, like, tucks their knees in and their feet and everything's in here. Whereas, because he's a lanky boy, his legs have got to kind of hang out, as you saw in the pictures and the video. Um, which, to be fair, I quite like, actually. I do find it kind of endearing, because Human Bill's got this kind of... I don't know, sort of look about him where he's kind of like smart, very casual, if that makes sense. Like having him with his legs hang out or whatever, it just, it just kind of works. Um, but, you know, I kind of assumed you could tuck it in, but I've tried as best I can, because he can really bend forward and everything. But, like, that's the most you can really get it, and obviously... You know, that's too wide for this thing. There might be other ways, maybe I'm just not bending him right or whatever. I feel like I saw a picture of someone who'd managed to put him directly in the UFO, but I could be wrong. But honestly, um, as a whole, he is a very fun figure. So I don't think I'll be like displaying him or anything with his harvesting tool. It, it's cool, I really like it, but like it doesn't really feel that secure, so... Uh, you know, I'd prefer him without it. But honestly, he's just a really cool, pausable, kind of fun figure. Um, the scale is a little bit small. It's smaller than what I'm used to. But it's not a massive deal breaker either. Because I'm, I'm not going to be buying, you know, Fortnite figures. Or if I do, it'll be one or two. So it, it doesn't really matter how they scale up, really. The alien thing is really fun. I'll probably have him just sat in there as a display thing. Or if not, I'll be putting other things in here. Because, you know, I just love UFOs in general anyway, so I'm glad uh, that came in. Honestly, this whole pack is absolutely, like, up my alley. As I say, this is basically, I think it's a little bit more expensive than if I'd got the skin pack in Fortnite anyway. And, um, yeah, it's, it's cool to have skins in Fortnite, I've bought some before. But honestly, you know, I, I prefer having something physical that I can pause with other figures or whatever. Um, keep an eye on my Instagram or Twitter, I might be putting up pictures of him... Um, I don't know, in various poses or, you know, with other figures of mine or whatever. Don't know how he'll scale, because he is kind of small. 
But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have him or any of the other Fortnite figures. So I know there's two different Fortnite lines. There's Jazzware, which is what he is, and I think McFarlane makes some Fortnite figures as well. Uh, I've heard pretty good things about both, actually, that they are just generally fun figures, and that's what I like about the Fortnite line. There's there's such a variety and, like, diversity of different types of figures that pretty much if you're into action figures, there's going to be one or two you're tempted by. Right, that wraps it up. I'll leave you a playlist for other um, reviews I've done for figures in the past, and I'll leave YouTube choose a random video there. I'll let you guys on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, believe.